projected contract Ooh. figures here. There's a lot of coin Dang. there. But do you believe Giannis should sign the Supermax? Listen. <sighs> the Supermax is 200 and what? Man, without question, you play all your life to get to this point to so you, you can secure that type of money for generations of your family. Yes, you do it. At first, you know, I know he's competitive. He wants to win a championship. But a championship is not guaranteed, ladies and gentlemen. You can say, I'm going to go here, sign for less, for a chance to win a championship and never win. But this guaranteed contract in your face, $221 million, that's guaranteed right there. You got to take that. <laughs> Jackie? <laughs> that's, that's a very interesting uh, approach, and I, I understand where you're coming from 100%. But if I'm Giannis, I've been loyal to the Milwaukee Bucks. I've told them I intend on being with them, but I also have one more year before I have to make this seismic decision. Now, I understand the danger of injury. That's, the, that's an, something that hangs over all players' heads, and Paul can speak to that, of course, much better than I can. But if I'm Giannis, I'm keeping all my options open and I'm going to do my very best to win a championship for the Bucks again next season, and then I'm going to make the biggest decision of my life. You know, I'm with you, Jackie. Like, granted, injury is always a factor here, but you gotta, you bet it on is, yourself yeah. to this point, right? Like, I feel like you need to continue betting on yourself. And, you know, Paul, championships aren't guaranteed, but neither is his talent, and I don't think that anyone should take that for granted. He's still a player who's growing. He's still a player who can get better, and he's already a two-time MVP. So I think if you're him, you've got kind of the, 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 the deck stacked in your favor. So you should be putting pressure on the Milwaukee Bucks and that organization to surround you with the best talent possible. Well, they're going to try to do that anyway. I mean, come on. They've got a, a generational talent. You know, they're going to try to get better. And, but like I said, 220. But, I mean, they traded Malcolm Brogdon, Paul. I mean, that, that's not, to me, a team. That's a team that's looking to cut some corners a little bit. Like, if I'm Giannis, I'm not happy about that. I'm still not happy about it. Where, where can he go? Where can he really go and guarantee a championship? I mean, come on. I mean, Ooh. as a free agent, Plenty Jackie, I'm sure there's a number of spots, right? Yeah, let's start with the Miami Heat. And, you know, I think everything that Giannis decides has an effect on every other team in the league. For instance, Balmata, Bam Adebayo is up for a very lucrative extension in Miami, and I'm sure they're going to take care of him. But let's talk about, like, some other of these free agents. Are the Miami Heat going to go out and get them this year, or are they going to save all their money and all their cap space for next year when they have a shot at Giannis? Well, what I can say is, and I'm not reporting anything, so don't aggregate me. What I can say is, knowing the history of one Good Patrick luck. Riley, uh, he likes to go big or go home. So my assumption is he will uh, yeah. find a way to, to remain as competitive as they were this past season while also keeping that cap space for the big whale in someone like Giannis Antetokounmpo. All right. So as